あなたも知っての通り、マガンの発動トリガーは視線を合わせること。How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael S. K. and welcome back to 9 episode 2. So we're still kind of recovering. A part of Kakadu is still petrified. I, th I think it's definitely like. Forearm and hand, and then like below the knee on one leg. So he's getting there. He's he's slowly recovering some of, well, himself from the petrification, but yeah, still, still kind of recovering. And now we're taking the moment here to continue to talk about, well, I guess the lore here. I know that Sophie has some questions for us, and we have some questions for her. <laughs> Okay, so this was brought up in the comments a while ago, but Sophie is purposely holding out information from us, and it is kind of annoying. Sora glares at Sophie. I'm astonished. Sora practically never gets angry. Sophie turns to Sora and evaluates her calmly. For once, she doesn't act evasive or insulting, instead, she gives Sora a serious reply. アーティファクトに関する情報の開示に慎重なのよ。前回は話しすぎて大変なことになった。When was last time? 人を信じすぎると混乱が大きくなるの。理解してちょうだい。でももういいよ、ソラ。発動条件はソフィーから聞かなくても分かってただろう。そうだけど、目を合わせなければ防げるってそこまでは知らなかったじゃん。そうだが対面した時点でほぼアウトだろうチラッとでも見たら終わりなんだ俺の不注意だったんだだからそんなに怒らなくていい悪いのは俺だ<笑> Rationally Sora knows I'm right even if emotionally she can't accept it she backs off with a pout I smile and nod at her telling her thanks for getting mad for my sake before I wave at Sophie to continue とにかくマガンに睨まれたらそれで終わり自力では抗えないけど誰かが視界を遮ってくれればかソフィーが横切った時金縛りが解けたんだそういうことだよなええだから一対一を避ければマガンから逃れることは容易よなるほどなおかげで助かったよ Yeah, all things considered, we, we should be thankful. Kakadu thanking Sophie is totally understandable. Though, yeah, it is okay to also be upset that things are apparently on a need to know basis. I feel like this was something that we needed to know, especially since we're, you know, actively looking for the user of the evil eye. <laughs> Sophie sighs and I give her a wry smile. I want to thank her for looking out for Sora, but since Sora still seems angry with Sophie, now's a kind of awkward time to say it, and instead I fill the silence with something else that comes to mind. たしか。即死ではないけれど、胴体の一部が石になった時点でほぼアウトね。そこで進行が止まっても、臓器が石になってしまったらおしまい。Yeah, I, I know that we can deal with, you know, some loss of a, of a limb. I mean, people can quite literally live without their limbs, so... Yeah, I, I can understand 
that if we didn't have our, I guess, torso going even further and further up, yeah, death, death is more and more imminent at that point. わざわざ砕かなくてもいいじゃん。いや、殺すなって話なんだけどさ。手っ取り早いとは言えないけれど、確実なのよ。1対1の状況で視線を合わせる。あの子が持っている他のアーティファクトで相手を攻撃し、死
Sora wolfs down her lunch like a starving animal. You'd think that we would be the one doing that. I eat too, albeit at a slower pace. I can't thank Kujo enough. That was the best damn lunch I've had in a while. You know, I've been trying to have uh, better lunches recently. Nothing, you know, too special, but usually my lunches consist of like crackers or nothing. So I guess an actual lunch is better than no lunch at all. The two of us spend the rest of the day hanging out in my apartment. We eat the leftovers from Cujo for dinner and pass the time watching movies. As far as I can tell, the petrification hasn't receded much further. Maybe we have to sleep it off? Because that seems to be a really good transitioning uh, way here. I was kind of hoping I it, it would be, or it'd make real progress over the day, excuse me, and I would be cured by tomorrow. But I guess that was asking for too much. I am honestly like traumatized, quote unquote. The Chaos had Noah uh, restoration or overhaul patch or whatever the hell you want to call it. The fans, tra the fan translation in that had so many uh, shortened uh, words or phrases. They would have all these apostrophed words. So I'm just like traumatized from it now. I can't even say them properly anymore. I wonder if it only heals in my sleep or if there's some other condition that has to be met for it to go away. At any rate, it looks like I'm going to be stuck with these stone limbs for at least a few days more. Nini, Sora walks into the living room. Since yesterday, she's been taking care of all the chores. Normally, she's a cocky little brat, but it's times like these that I remember I'm blessed to have such a good sister. And I must never, ever tell her that, or it'll go right to her head. Uh, that's Sora grabs a pair of scissors and hunkers down in front of my leg. She skillfully uh, cuts through the cloth that's unpetrified since last night. Maybe because it's actually petrified? あれだ。あれでしょ。なんだっけ。あ、ファントムペイン。言いたかっただけだろ。うん。でもま、近いのかな。手足がないようであるっていうか。変な感じだ。I mean it's exactly the same way whenever you have an arm or leg fall asleep. That actually happened to me one time like it was completely dead and I think I accidentally smacked myself in the face during like it was during the night I was I was sleeping. And I kind of woke up and realized, oh shit, my arm is like kind of, you know, asleep. No, that shit was dead. There was, there was nothing. That thing was like, like just dead. And I accidentally like while rolling over, just smacked the shit out of myself because I have no control. It's as if it wasn't even there. It was like, it was something else. I grab my towel and change and a change of clothes from the closet and then head to the bathroom. I mean, come on, we're not that disabled, are we? With a bit of effort, I managed to pull off my clothes and throw them into the washing machine. I enter the bathroom, close the door, and turn on the shower. I guess we just don't have a background for the bathroom? Because there's just nothing, it's just white. Just as the water starts steaming, I see a silhouette outside the door. From the looks of it, Sora's fiddling with the washing machine. Don't do this to me, game. Uh, yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yeah, she is. Sora flings open the door and waltzes in, buck naked. Wait, no, seriously, what the hell is this girl thinking? 
To be fair, this is like a... Well, from what I've seen in anime, so I guess I'm talking out of my ass. This is pretty normal. It's a part of the culture to, like, wash each other's backs or whatever. Overwhelmed by her enthusiasm, I obediently sit on the stool. Sora tilts the shower head toward me, puts some shampoo on her hands, and starts running them through my hair. I have no idea what I can even show here, so sorry in advance. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna actually agree with Kakadu here. She is pretty stupid. やだ、お騒がれる。何出てて あの後俺が怒られたんだからな。空を yeah, wait, no, hold, hold on, hold on now. Now that only happens in anime. Don't, please, do not do it. I lean forward as far as possible, trying to escape the sensation of Sora's breasts pressing against my back. Holy shit. This girl's serious and stupid. Actually, you know what? I came across a Reddit post today, or maybe it was the day before, where like a guy was just kind of like, I don't even know what subreddit I was on. Uh, he was talking about how, like, his girlfriend, like, they were just taking a shower together, but, like, she offered to, like, you know, scrub his hair, wash it with shampoo and all that, and, like, that's never been something that's been offered to him before, and, like, there was so much care done and everything, and he was just, like, he was basically, like, high on the fact that he was getting his hair scrubbed or something like that, which I, I, I think is believable, 100%. And he was just so happy and, and all that. And it's like, man, that would be cool. It would be. But nope, here we are. This is this is as close as I'm getting, am I right? I stand up and rinse myself off. And when I'm done, I throw open the door and flee the bathroom. I towel myself off, grab my clothes, and hobble to the living room. I just remember that, like, you know. Hey, you know what? I'm not, I'm not even going to say it. I'm just not. Flustered, I throw my clothes on and plop down onto the bed. I'm still a little shaken. I can't believe I was getting... I'm not saying that. Nah, I wasn't really, but I am still a little unnerved. 
Sora tends to act on impulse, so it's not uncommon for her crazy antics to surprise me or even piss me off. But she would never do anything outright wrong. Whenever she gets close to the line of what's acceptable, that's when she stops and thinks better. I'm pretty sure she's got her head on straight, but... I've got a bad feeling. I'm far from certain, but I can't shake this nagging premonition. I just pray I'm wrong. But even as I pray, I can't help but frantically try to organize my thoughts. If my fears turn out to be true, and matters come to a head, what can I do? What would be the right thing to do? To stop it, no matter what? Why is that even a question, dude? Like, if we're, if we're gonna think rationally here, like, like, fuck the whole anime trope. Like, come on now. I was hoping that when I woke up, the petrification would have healed all the way to my wrist and ankle, but unfortunately, it's barely receded at all. I think the parts that already healed weren't petrified all the way to the bone, which was why they took so little time. The rest of my arm and leg have been petrified all the way through, which is why they're taking longer to get better. At least, that's my guess. It sucks, but there's nothing I can do except wait. We don't have any guests coming over today, so the plan is to just take it easy with Sora. However... Oh, she's being clingy. I like the CG, though. Sora. Okay, I'm just hiding that so that, you know, I can get a thumbnail. But yeah, I think I understand why she's being the way she is. She's being clingy because her brother almost died. Straight up. I, I'm, I'm just going to call it there. I'm pretty sure it's like an easy thing to figure out. Sora ignores my subtle plea to get off of me and starts talking about the show we're watching. She's been like this ever since I woke up. The whole day she's been hanging on my arm. Heck, practically sitting on my lap. Normally we would eat breakfast sitting across from each other, but today she just plunked down right next to me like it was perfectly ordinary. I get up from my seat. It's kind of important where you're waiting, what the fuck? She really doesn't want to be apart from me. I finish up my business and return to the living room. Sora plops down next to me with a pout. And promptly wraps her arms around me again. No matter how hard I try to pull her off, or how cold I act toward her, she won't let go. Man, put this together with last night and... なんか話したいことあるなら聞くぞ。別にないけど。あるだろ。遠慮すんな。ないってば、兄にがちっとの甘えてくれないから、代わりに私が甘えてるだけ。甘えるって。何うー、言うか、そういうこと。手足が石にな
いっつもそれじゃニーニが食べたいもの食べたいから希望を委員しちゃいあーじゃあこれこれそこ位置ってテイクアウトできるっけできるじゃあそこ位置にしよう何何カレーシーフードカレートッピングにフィッシュフライ贅沢かよ私もそれにしよう Sora finally disentangles herself from me, grabs her wallet, and gets to her feet. Sora、uh, waves and walks over to the front door. She puts on her shoes, opens the door, and steps outside. After she leaves, I let out a small sigh. Sophie, you're here. And so she is. And so she is. A hole in space appears immediately. A familiar stuffed animal appears from the rift and settles down on the table. のメッセージの返事がないことを不信がってはいるけれど空が報復に合う危険もなしそのために呼び出したの何かあれば知らせるって言ったじゃないせっかちね I think it's less of being impatient and just trying to be as cautious as possible いや違う聞きたいことがあるんだ何スティグマの侵食ってやつ具体的にどういう症状が出るんだそうねまちまちではあるけれど大体は感情の制御ができなくなって欲望に忠実になるわね。ふん、interesting。I'll note that。欲望。末期になるとあなたも知っての通り、力が暴走して理性を失い、発狂する。空にその兆候が見られるのいや、そこまでじゃないんだが。はっきりしないわね。ソフィーから見てどう思う別にとしか言えないわねまだ空のことはあまり知らないしブラコンなのねとしか yeah, just, just a, a, a wee bit, you know? だよな確かに今日は顕著だったわねずっとあなたにべったり今まではなかったのここ数年はそうだなある程度の距離感は保ててたんだが It could honestly just be that like she almost saw Like a family member die, somebody that she's extremely close to and always have, always has been. So, yeah, you're going to want to cling to them. You're going to want to be closer to them after a near death experience for sure. I, I strongly believe that. But yeah, that lines up a little bit too well. お兄ちゃんがいないって大泣きして風呂もそうトイレにもついてきたがる友達と遊ぶのもそうだ俺と一緒じゃないと空はすぐに泣くんださすがに中学入ったくらいからは落ち着いてきたんだが今でも強いストレスを受けたりすると昔みたいに俺に甘えたがるここ最近普通じゃないことの連続だ空もかなりストレスになってると思うだから、用事帰りって言い方は大げさだがつまり特に異常な行動ではないということね、うん、そうだな異常ってほどではないそれなら心配ないわよと言ってあげたいところだけれど Sighing, Sophie raises both her tiny arms and a shrug. Skiai no nagai anata ga iwakan o oboeta no naraba. Ijou no mai bure to kangaeta ho ga ii deshou ne. Artifact to no keiak o kaijo sul ho ho o shie te kure. Arun daro. Aru kere do. O shie rare nai ka? Sora no nouryuk ga kaijo sare ると. Ghost ga nobanashi ni naru kara. Well, no, I think it's gonna kill her. Anata wa dou omotte iru ka shira nai kere do. そこまで冷淡じゃないわよ、私は。えそ,そうなのかえけれど、その準備がまだ整っていないの。練習には時間がかかる。Wait, maybe you can actually live if the contract is just cancelled. 
instead of the artifact just being ripped away. Dancer? I don't know these details, and Sophie's kind of holding out on us here. Ambrosia to you, Reacuno. Cassio Tiny Surcoto de Artifacto, Damashi, Kayako Kaijo Sur. Cassio Tiny Tamashi, you cue me, Sasser, to your wish to hold a Tadashi Cassia. Gisani Sinuaka de Vanaiwa, Nemuri Nitskudake. It's basically the thing that uh, Juliet took. Sophie's voice grows serious. I can tell wh whatever's coming isn't going to be good, and I furrow my brows in worry. けれど、Oh, it'll cancel it out, among other things. Saigo今の状態なら大丈夫でしょうね。I bow my head to Sophie. I expect Sora is going to be pissed, but I want her to get rid of her artifact as soon as possible. The ability to manipulate someone's presence is a powerful weapon to have on our side, but I don't want Sora risking herself. Plus, if she relinquishes her artifact, I should be able to take it in her place. I'm sure that will be for the best. Oh, but I don't think it's that simple. Go now, but right as I'm about to finish my sentence, I think of something else. It's not urgent, but it's been in the back of my mind since this conversation started. I was so focused on the immediate questions that I almost forgot to ask. Sophie seems both interested and somewhat displeased. She already admitted Iris was the Evil Eye's original user, but it seems those old legends are less accurate than I gave them credit for. At least I assume that's why she looks unhappy. Sophie mulls my question over for a few seconds. わかりやすく言えばそうね。恩恵派と過激派といったところかしら。ソフィーは恩恵派ってわけか。そうね。できる限り犠牲は出さないよう立ち回る。もちろん必要であれば非常な決断もするし、命も奪うけれど。イーリ
今までは互いに干渉することはできなかったけれど別の世界で対立することになるなんてねゴーストについている異世界人はセフィロとの過激化か断言はできないけれどもしそうならあなたたちには代理戦争をさせていることになるわね代理戦争話がどんどんでかくなっていくなあまり気にしなくてもいいわよあちらも監視はしているでしょうけど大きな干渉はできない私のようにね今は自分と空の心配をしていなさい面倒なことは私がやるわよ誤解してたよ何結構優しいんだな<笑> Oh that's all we get is a huh? Eh, whatever. Sophie smirks and slips through her interdimensional rift. Man, she could have at least said something. I guess even if she's ultimately pretty nice, she's still a little twisted. Well, I guess that was a pretty cliched thing of me to say, so I can't blame her. Anyway, with this, Sora should be freed or free of her burdens in just a few days. All that's left is to see whether I can manage without her. To be honest, I have my doubts. Even when I was backed into a corner, my artifact still didn't awaken. There's got to be some kind of trigger to activate it, though. I guess everyone else just knows instinctively how to activate it while I. Nah, Sophie. Mada Yuka. Anakawa. What a shio. Kigaruni. Yes, me, Mason. Cotino to go. Can I not say you? Hi. Matak. Well, I don't think we're getting our question answered. Sighing, Sophie ducks back down into her portal. She does have a point. I ought to be considerate of the fact that she's got her own life. I mutter to myself to fill the uncomfortable silence. At any rate, being hasty won't help anyone. For now, all I can do is wait for Sora to come back home. And wait, we do. But will she come back? Did she come back? Game? Oh, yep, there she is. Yeah, we'll be alright. Okay, we'll end the episode here since it seems like a okay spot to end the episode. Or the video, excuse me. Alright, um... I don't really know what to say about this one. Kind of weird. A little weird. I mean, I know the time's coming. And I think we're getting closer and closer to it as we get closer and closer to the end of this one. I feel like we're getting closer to the end of this one. This, uh, this episode, but... I have no idea. I mean, you guys can let me know if you want, but at the same time, I like surprises. But anyways, yeah, it's, uh, I know what we're coming up on. Just like in Cujo's episode, near the end, we got her stuff, and, well, yeah. I, I know what this title entails. And maybe in the next video, we'll have that to deal with. Oh, boy. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz, and I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy.